Okay, this is a quick demonstration of how to migrate a Blackboard CE8 course built with our distance learning template into a Moodle uh, course. So I'm just going to pick this course, which was in our, in, I happen to be in for a um, troubleshooting issue the other day, and it has the sort of standard intro, course introduction, and uh, learning modules format that we use in our templates. So um, the easiest way to migrate this is to go into the file manager. Uh, you'll see a list of all the content. Click the checkbox at the top to select all the items. Click on zip. And I'm just going to call it, I'm going to leave it the default there and click OK. And it will zip all of the content into a single zip file. Now, if I go to my files, I'll see that zip file there. It's roughly 1.58 megabytes, and I can download that to my computer. Then if I go to a course that I've created in Moodle, it's a, just a test course. Um, at this point, it's blank. It's been assigned and set up with a topic outline rather than a weekly outline. And if I go to the files folder, I can upload this zip file. And then I can unzip it. I'll get a log of all of that. And now in your files area, you'll see all the same files that were in your previous course. There's the zipped version. I'm just going to delete that. Now if we go back to the home page, uh, you'll see that there's a news forum and sort of a um, pre-topic that has no number to it. Then you start with week uh, topic 1, topic 2, topic 3. So I'm going to turn editing on, and then I'm going to start adding resources to week one. Uh, if you need to recall which items were in the week one, we can switch back to the course, go to the learning module, and go to lesson one. So we have an intro, the assignment, the reflection, and a summary. And if you need to know the details, like where those items are located, you can go to edit properties and it'll tell you the path. So module one files, module one intro. So we go to uh, add a resource and link to a file or website. And you can copy and paste if you'd like to. And then browse for that file. And then I say uh, yes without a frame for the option to keep page navigation visible. So uh, you just repeat this process over and over, link to a file or web page. The next item was the assignment, and that's for Instruct Insight is the name of the file there while I'm here. choose without frame. Next item was the reflection activity. So here they actually have instructions. So what you want to do is uh, first copy this, go to your course and add an activity where you upload a single file. We'll name it copy the instructions which are in HTML and since they're in HTML we'll switch to the source mode and paste and then if you toggle the uh, source mode again you'll see the actual HTML there. Um, we'll go back to the assignment to see any other details. It's uh, out of six points 
so let's scroll down to six. If you have a date or time, uh, you can get that. Yeah, three twenty one, twenty ten. Then you can, uh, if there are other items, like allowing the student to take the item back, um, most of which don't ever get noticed, we'll just leave it at the default for now and save and return to course. Now there is a next item. Now if we look at the second assignment, go to the properties there, copy that, add another activity, copy the summary, oops, Get the grade, the total points available out of two. I'm just going to leave the date at, as default for now. And there you have your module one. If you would like, you can add the introduction module items uh, that we see here in Intro to Online Learning and the uh, course introductions, you can add those to the first week, or the pre-week, I should say, topic. So we can add a link to a website. The first item is the module introduction. Second item is the technology requirements. The third item is the communicating online module. fourth item is the resources at PCC. There you have uh, how you can add these content items. Move on to the um, course introductions. Let's actually add a label for the uh, first module, which is Intro to Online Learning as well. And we're going to move this up to above the module.